Hey guys, welcome back or to the channel. This is 803 Garage, and I am your host, Michael. We're gonna be uh, flipping this thing over to uh, finish the paint job, rewire it, and uh, get it going. Well, this turned it a little back the way it was, but that's okay. Still manageable. Kind of wanted it on, flipped over on the ground. Again, the reason for that, I wanted to get to the wheels a little better, but this is still good. Anyways, we're going to uh, wire a wheel. Take off a couple things and then wire wheel it. Get the electrical out of the way so I don't destroy it. Make sure you wear earplugs, breather, because I got told off for this one in the last video that I should be protecting myself. So you guys, make sure when you're doing this kind of work, protect yourself. So we're cleaning up the metal from this, or well, to this, from this. So that's what it's gonna look like. Not, not overly well done, but it's just getting rid of all the surface stuff to be primed and painted. The next thing we're gonna do is check the bearings. Not a lot of play. Rolls pretty decently, but not a lot of play. Again, same thing up here. That's just rust, I thought that was a crack. <laughs> A little bit of panic there. Now she looks good. Bearings again are solid. So I'll be pulling these apart, taking these off, so I can lube everything up and put it all back together. <laughs> so difficult to this one handed. There we go. These all nice and painted up. Prime time. So this is the bottom side painted. I'm gonna paint it the suspension black. I'm gonna paint the bottom side red. I'm gonna put a fan on it and let it dry. And then we are gonna look at the bearings. I did paint this one. I'm gonna tack it first. And I kind of painted this one by mistake. So we'll be getting that second. Hopefully it dries up enough. So I'm gonna repack the bearings with the uh, multi-purpose waterproof grease, the kind of stuff I use on dirt bikes in the, in the marine environment, and then anti-seize are the bolts. So it's gonna rain where I am. This is all painted. I'm gonna pull this down across here, see how well that works for me. I tried to flip it earlier so I wouldn't have this issue, but it's gonna rain, so I put this up. I'm gonna flip this over. I'm just gonna drag it, nothing special. And now it's time to demolish my fence. I mean, flip this trailer. It's not every day you uh, get to knock over your fence. That being said, I will be working on this fence a little bit later this year, hoping the wood prices go down. Well, that was fun. 
Now we can do that other hub there. It makes it a lot easier. First thing we do is take off the bearing retaining cap. You can, there's actual special tool to take this off. You can also just take what I used with here was uh, a chisel and I just kind of lightly tapped it with a, what I'm using as a hammer, but it's not actually a hammer, it's a pair of pliers and it pops it right off. pin and or what I like to call it the hair clip and there's the castle nut there should be a washer in this case there was neither on either side and then you'll get to the bearings you'll remove the hub at the same time These are your bearings. This one definitely needs some grease. Still looks pretty decent. As you can see there, the bearing still has lots of grease. The other one didn't have as much. So we're just gonna pack this up with some grease. Pretty good actually. So what I was talking about earlier, needing it, this is the bearing that requires the grease. You just kind of like want to squish it in there. And that's what I mean by needing it. Get it all in there. These are the grooves. You kind of just got to push it in, so to speak. If you want to roll it and then re-knead it all in. Make sure she is, and do this a couple of times so that you are fully saturating the bearing with grease. Now, the spindle right there, you wanna make sure that it's straight, there's no warps or anything. This one's perfectly fine, even though it's ancient. The other thing I'm gonna do is add some more grease inside here. Just kinda of push it all in. Just like so, and I already did a bunch. Push the bearing on. In. There we go. So that's perfectly fine. We can put a bunch of the uh, grease inside the cap. Castle nut install. Make sure she is snug but not tight. Now there is a seal on this side. You want to make sure she's good. Help prevent water from getting in. This seal is fine. The other seal is fine. You want to make sure they're present. Sometimes there'll be a washer inside here. I've never known this trailer to have a washer to hold it all in place. I would prefer to it there to be a washer. You want this nice and snug and then just to back off a little bit. Like right about there. Now we'll grab the pin. You want to replace the pin. Now I know these pins are new. Can't find it, so this is a typical picture or diagram of what your hub and everything looks like and we'll start with the axle from the axle goes to the spindle and on the spindle you have your inner bearing which will have a seal in front of that to keep it's a grease seal keeps it all in and then after that the grease seal and the bearing is the spindle again going forward to the second bearing which will have a washer on it, and then the castle nut goes on top of that, and then you have your cotter pin that fastens it all together, along with the hub that surrounds everything, and in the hub you have your axle studs, 
Some trailers have it in the hub and other trailers have it where the studs go into the hub instead of the uh, studs protruding out for the rim to sit on top of and then you have your axle nuts or lug nuts. Found the cotter pin. Just want to make sure that this is on good. That's on good. You don't want it too tight. Just a little bit loose. These are new pins. I tend to replace them either every time or every other time. I don't know where my are. So I'll risk it because it's mine, but I always recommend people to replace them. Now, I always put extra grease inside the retaining cap. And it just gives it extra little bit. Use a rubber mallet. I don't have one handy. down with uh, Marcel or bright clean some sort of solvent and then I can get the paint in this Now that the hubs are both done and greased up and good to go, we're going to work on painting the bottom of this red. Got a few more things to prime. Once the hubs have uh, cleared up all the solvent from the paint thinner, Barsol, um, we're going to work on painting the base, as we just said, and the farm tools, plus the plow, randomly. I don't know if you can hear it, but it has begun to rain. It's a good thing I put this up while I did. So guys, we got it all painted. It is raining, as you can tell. It's gotten a little harder, but it's all painted pretty well. That one's red, the hub. That one's black, I wanna paint this one. I might sand this and paint that red. I didn't realize I did that, but I like the red look better than that. Plus on the white rims, well, the semi-white, I should say. And uh, I'm gonna grab some more fans, blow this all off, so that's it. So what I'm gonna do here, guys, do you think this, well, this is gonna be part two. It'll be a part three. We've already part one. Um, please like, share, and subscribe. I'll catch you all in the next one. Have fun. Any questions, comments, concerns, leave them down below. I'll catch you guys all in the next one. Peace.